I'm back and I've got Mead here today and Mead is going to be doing his sit down stand and we'll see how Mead does with this. Once again, start out with something like a bigger strip of, of food, get him standing. And now he's a big kind of gangly boy right now. He just turned five months. So it's going to be a little bit harder sometimes. Good. Good. Yes. Good boy. Now I'm going to try using the clicker with him. I'm going to stand him back up because he tends to, come on, guy, let's go forward. I'm going to move him back just a little bit. Okay. Click. Good. Okay. Stand. Good. Okay. Click. Good. Good boy. Okay. Stand up. Good boy. Okay. Me. Click. Good boy. You see, um, I'm trying to kind of lure him forward so that he tucks his rear forward. Good boy. Yes, good boy. Now you notice I click for the marker, but then I'm also telling him yes when I give him the treat. He did pretty well with that. Let's see how he does on the down. Okay, once again, get him back up. Okay. Okay, ready? Trying to get him to follow me down. Yeah, good boy. Good. Now I clicked him before he got all the way down. Now one thing I did do or notice, did you see how he dropped his rear end first? I don't want him to do that. So I'm gonna have to work on getting him to drop his front end. Good boy, good boy, yes, good boy. Okay, and you see the way I did that was I actually kind of held his rear up. I had my arm under his rear. Okay, you ready? Okay, good, 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 push him back. Dropped it a little bit that time. You can also try to work this from the front. Come on, come on. And you can get up. <laughs> okay. Right here. Bring this down. Yes, good boy. Good boy. Okay, and you can see how he did. So he's doing pretty well. What he's got to learn to do is, uh, is to drop his you know, front end a little bit sooner. And you can tell <laughs> he's still wanting to eat the whole time. Yeah, you got my little tassels, but he's doing pretty well. Now I'm going to go grab Queenie. So give me just a second and we'll see how she does with it. Okay, this is Queenie. Queenie is the pretty redhead of the group. <laughs> but she's also the master food stealer. Um, I have found she's a lot like her mother. And you'll find with the Whippets, you know, they have different temperaments. Um, her mother is not so, didn't like doing the downs at all when she was a puppy. And I ended up having to actually help her with the downs by doing a little bit of physical manipulation. We'll see how Queenie is on this. We'll start her out with a sit. Now Queenie wasn't, hasn't really started on the clicker yet. Now you see that's not quite enough to get her going. So good girl, good girl. Good, yes, good girl, good Queenie. You can see she's a little bit softer, a little bit more temperamental. Okay, let's go. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Good girl, good. Good, yes, good girl. You can see I use my voice a little bit, like good, yeah, you're getting there, you're getting there. So don't forget that your voice does have a lot to do with how well, you know, your dog, uh, you know, gains their confidence. So let's try that again. What's this? Here, have a piece. Pretty good stuff. Okay, good. Okay. Come on, let's go. Yes, good 
Now she sat, but she wasn't really luring. She just sat. And you can tell she was getting a little bit temperamental, and you will see this with whippets sometimes, is they'll do the first couple of them, and then they suddenly say, oh, wait a second, what am I doing? I'm not sure if I want to be doing that. Is she touching my rear end? Blah, 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 blah. And they start worrying. So we're going to try it one more time. Good girl. Okay. Good girl. Yes, yes. Good girl. All right. And you can see, part of it, she hears the dogs <laughs> in the other room. And they're, they're playing, I can tell. I can hear Mead and BB, and so she's wondering about that. So her attention is a little bit off. Let's try the down. Good girl. Good girl. Yes, yes, good girl. Good girl. All right. Yes, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Good. Okay, good. Now, I have done this with her a couple of times, and I already know... Good girl, you do good girl, good eye contact. That she doesn't, I can lure her to heaven and she's not going to drop that front unless I give her a little bit of a squeeze here. And that's the same way her mother was. Let's go from the front. Good girl. Okay, good. Okay, let's go. Right. Good girl, that's it. Little bit of a squeeze right here. Good. Yes, good girl. Okay. So I have to give her a little bit of a... Okay, you want to try this one? Okay. Down and push back. A little bit of a squeeze with her. Good. And that's what I did with her. Is I ended up, after working with her for about 10 minutes, uh, she would balk at about halfway down. Is With some dogs, I have just found that if you just give them a little bit of a squeeze and they back off a little bit and they'll drop their shoulder then um, they don't, it doesn't bother them as much. Now I've also seen some that if you handle them in any way, then they don't want to work at all. They'll quit on you. So you have to kind of watch your puppy and see how they are. But my best advice is use your voice. Use your voice and if they aren't doing the whole thing, then do part of it. Like just lure them to their chest, lure them to their chest, click, lure them to their chest. So if I were just gonna do this exercise with her, I do this, good girl. Okay, right here, okay, right there. Good girl, okay. So, um, then I'm saying good instead of yes. Yes, good, okay. So, um, or with the clicker, as I said, she's not that accustomed to the clicker yet. She was the one puppy that I haven't started yet, but click, good girl, okay. Bring it down, click, right there, okay. And you can do the same thing with the down, is start taking them down. Now the last thing I haven't mentioned is you can do all of this with what's called targeting, which is teaching them to touch something, say with their nose, like a target stick, and we'll be doing that next. And what you do is you teach them to target first, so that they learn to touch their nose, touch. And then if you wanna teach them to sit, you hold the target up here, you tell them to touch, they raise their head, and to get up to the target they have to to collapse into a sit. The same thing with the down. You put the, the wand down between their legs to reach down to touch it. They're so busy paying attention to touching that or targeting with their nose that their body collapses. So that's another way of doing it. The only thing is you got to get them pretty good with targeting before you do that. So this was a good way to at least get them used to, get their body used to actually going into a sit, a down, and a stand position. And that's what I'm really teaching. And finally, once again, I'm not using a command. I'm just teaching them the basic behaviors and getting them used to doing it. I'm also getting them used to having me handle them around the rear or on the shoulder while I'm doing this so that when I go to do other things, I don't get that typical whip it response. Oh my God, mom, you touched me, I'm gonna die. You know? so, so anyways, but you can see she out of the three, she is definitely the softest of the three. So I have to handle her a little bit differently, back off a little bit more. But, um, and also sometimes she would be one that I really uh, have to work on motivating her and getting her up a little bit more. So that's it with my three puppies. And our next lesson that we do is what's gonna be, going to be called the sit for crossed arms. So we want them to be used to being able to do a sit to do the next exercise that we're gonna cover in our puppy class. And that will be week two, lesson one. Thanks.